Hi everyone, just uh, we're at day two here at this job and and more here and uh, we've got this dead hemlock to take care of. Um, it's uh, nice and shady right now. It's gonna get real hot later today, so we're trying to trying to beat the sun a little bit. And um, I got uh, a live tree right next to it, so I'm gonna try to shoot a line. Um, depending on how good my uh, my line is secured in the in the healthy tree in the next to it, um, will depend kind of like how I go about this. But uh, yeah, if if I can get that line over a few branches and really close to the trunk, then I'll be like uh, home free and, and basically uh, pretty comfortable. Um, and uh, and also if the tree is not as decayed as it looks, I might be able to just go a bit higher and take more branches off and, and kind of send it where I want. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna start sh with shooting a line and uh, kind of go from there. And then um, just got two other um, snags to, to fall and uh, that should be it for the day. So yeah. Okay, pulled all this line out. It's, it's, about, it's almost 200 feet of uh, throw line. So the more throw line you have, the more chance of getting really tangled. So it kind of just fed it all out, put it all back in. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it doesn't get too tangled. And I'm um, gonna shoot, I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna shoot up in there and in, in one of the brakes. I end up, for some reason, I just end up always hitting the trunk and then it bounces away. So I'm gonna try not aiming too close to the trunk. So let's see how this goes. Oh, totally off. <laughs> I think that did it. Um, it's on this side of the crown. It's kind of uh, must have bounced away a little bit from the from the um from the trunk or something. I don't know exactly what happened, but anyway, um, you can see there's not many branches, which is not great. Uh, not the worst thing in the world, but um, I'm definitely going to get this side farther into there so it's a little bit sucked into the trunk a little bit more. So we'll just do that. This over here, throw the fence, and then we'll get the line on it. So this is a little easy to get confused. So I always do this the wrong way. So um, with the zigzag, you kind of have to because uh, I want to climb on that side. It's hard to explain. I shot it over, and I want where the where the throw bag ended. I want to start ascending. So basically, that means. Long story short, I don't have to. A lot of you probably know this, but um, I got to take the zigzag off and reinstall it on the butt of the line because the butt of the line is going to go over this fur and then down to where I'm working. So, um, I think that, uh, I think that makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to take this off and, uh, set the line. There the line goes. So, that dead tree is over there. This is a live tree. It's so many branches, so I'm going to see if we can get the line to the right more and uh, maybe tie it off even on a different tree to get a little bit of a side uh, s not like a side pull but like um, just to kind of get it more sucked into the tree when I put my weight in it so that's kind of what we'll try to do find some branch find some trees there a sturdy tree and then that climbing line should be pretty snug and secure. Okay, so this is the other side of the tree here. I'm trying to get as much as I can out of that uh, crown there. So let's see here. Let's 
working. Good thing I got a lot of room here. Hey Elvis, uh, you want to help me pull this? Let's actually pull a little more here. Might break loose and we fall, so <laughs> just find a nice place where we don't fall on anything. Yeah. Oh, good. Nice. Okay, perfect. That's good. One, two, three. That's good, I think. I think we. Nice. Okay, so this was tied off while we were pulling. Um, otherwise, you just end up obviously pulling the line out. So now, take it off and you can see if we can get it from away from this tree here. So, and then closer to where I'm actually working. This is making arrangements for tomorrow, Ruben. Yeah. Just want to know if uh, we'll be impacted the following week. Uh huh. Uh, I mean, ideally, yes, I want, I would like to have the truck back mm -hmm. before the weekend because right. they're closed on the weekend, Right. which means if we, if we do, then uh, we can keep working. Uh-huh. Nice. Okay. Oh, you mean Wednesday? What, I, oh, next I, week, I you mean? I think I have you booked oh, for right. Monday, Tuesday right, next right, week. Right. Oh, I see. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm trying to just keep us rolling. Yeah. So the earlier we get the truck into them tomorrow, mm -hmm. help us. I'm uh, ready to go, sort of. And uh, trying to get this a little closer in here. There we go. And now it's kind of a moment of truth. See how rotten this thing is. And Kind of what my options are. So let's get rid of this thing. Pretty punky, but strong enough at this point. Anyway, we'll see how we'll see how strong it is as we get up higher. But uh, at this point, just kind of just like detangling all this stuff. Okay.
getting better. Rope situation is getting better. All right. Okay, rope is getting much better here. Getting some room. The tree is sturdy enough. Hey, okay, so let's just keep going. At this point, I'm keeping an eye on the top here now, seeing how it's, how strong it looks and if my weight is really making it wiggle or not and stuff a lot. So that's kind of what I'm watching here now, especially also how much my spurs are sinking into the wood. So they're not going in too far, they're not, it's not like, fully compromised so that is a good sign which like which means I can go along with what I'm doing for now So you see I'm halfway almost and uh Wood is. Uh, I've tried falling uh, a piece by leaving a big cut and then coming down, like a, a felling cut, uh, at uh, half the height of the tree, with a rope up in the top, and then we came down, and then did a felling cut, and I left. I was scared at the time, and then uh, I left like a huge. Um, what do you call it? Uh, holding wood, huge amount of holding wood. And we kept cracking, 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 it would not come over. So, my buddy at the time um, went up there and just, just finished the cut, like, in the tree. So, something may be dead, but it could be still having quite a bit of uh, strength. And uh, so, yeah. It just takes a little bit of uh, finesse getting the, uh, just uh, getting a feel for that. Good. I can put a lot of weight in it, so um, which is definitely helping the situation. Um, let's 
see here. Uh, a lot of the branch weight is coming off, which is a good thing too. But uh, my main concern is not not uh, introducing a lot of vibrations into this tree, because uh, I yeah. Now it's starting to get a little bit soft, softer. So that is giving me a sign. I'll be back, Elvis. Yeah. Okay, just take. I can reach definitely a little bit more. In this situation, every step sure you should make it count. So definitely. my steps very carefully Before it gets too soft, uh, we got the got, uh, we set kind of where we're gonna pull, and I'm gonna go up a tiny bit more and then get whatever branches I can get, and then tie the rigging line, and come down. So that is the plan here. It is pretty soft, so um, just being very careful. It's nothing. Nothing too bad, actually. Um, as long as I can reach these branches, cut them off, set the line, and I'm happy. Maybe like four of these, four or five of these branches, and then that'll give us a little bit more of advantage. The less risk of tangling on this side. vibrations in the wood tree you get kind of uh, uh, an amount of shakes I would say or somehow whatever you want to call it that um, that are not gonna significantly affect the tree so um, you don't want to it's kind of like, not to get out of jail free cards, but they're kind of just like, you know, your, your lives, nine lives. <laughs> so you don't want to use too many of them. Um, but anyway, this is looking pretty good. I've got a line up in there and a lot of that weight off. So come down a little bit.
Okay, that was good. Uh huh. She's fine with leaving it over there. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Like you know, kind of right behind the trunk, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. But she wants two footers. Uh huh. Um. And then that snag over there. Yeah. The next one. Yeah. Uh, if we can just cut them enough that I could pick them up, pick up the pieces. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to throw them on the arbor trolley. She mm -hmm. wants me to actually fire it into that forest. Oh, okay. The chips? No, the oh. uh, the trunk Rounds. wood. From, oh, I see. From the decayed trunk. Right. Not, not this one. Yeah, yeah, the other, the one. other one. Okay. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just good. to let you know. Yeah. Cool. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. So I guess we can just pull that over and lock sure. it down. Yeah. Uh, you want me to stick around still, or? Oh no, no, I'm fine.
that's it. And you can see on the video. And here Dan comes putting his foot up. <laughs> on the front. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that uh, yeah, yeah. guy that worked yeah, yeah. for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Look at this uh, fungus. I cut it off. It's like it's like wood. This stuff. I like rubber. So that um, that big shot shot this this rope pretty high. Well, the throw line, and then got the rope pretty high. That's uh, almost like let's see, 90 feet, 90 foot shot. I think because uh, we had a, a hand. All right, here are the two dead hemlocks, snags. Right here, see this one's got a big chomp out of it. <laughs> and then this next one is uh, pretty tall. And uh, so we're just gonna, we got a line up in there just for safety. Um, it's, you can kind of see it's, uh, it's kind of leaning towards the right of the uh, in those crowns a little bit so don't want it to get all hung up in there so we're just kind of gonna aim it 